San Diego could become the smartest city in the U.S. San Diego is partnering with General Electric to upgrade the city's streetlights into a digital network that can optimize traffic and enhance public safety. More than 3,000 streetlights in San Diego will be equipped with real-time anonymous sensors, cameras, and microphones. The streetlights will be connected to form an IoT network. The streetlights can measure air quality, locate vacant parking spaces, monitor traffic flow of vehicles and pedestrians, as well as detect gun violence. The city will also replace 14,000 streetlights with technology that allows them to dim or brighten manually or automatically, according to natural light conditions. The installation will begin this summer, with the potential for 3,000 more sensors to be added in the future. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's more stories about other smart city technologies around the world. Solar-powered floating farms could help feed the world. Barcelona-based company Forward Thinking Architecture has developed a solar-powered floating farm system that could ease growing global food demand. Smart Floating Farms, or SFF, was inspired by traditional grid-shaped fish farms in Asia. Each SFF is 200 meters wide and 350 meters long roughly the size of six football fields. They can be connected to form a cluster of modules. Photovoltaic panels are installed on the top level to harvest sunlight for electricity, and it has rainwater collectors for irrigation purposes. Other renewable energy technologies such as micro wind turbines may also be added. The second level is a greenhouse for the vegetables, which are grown without soil under the hydroponic system. The plants receive natural light from the skylight opening. The ground level is used as a fish farm on the open sea and features a fish egg hatchery, a slaughterhouse and a storage room for the fish. By using farms in nearby waters as a food source, the SFF can help reduce reliance on imported food. All the modules are centrally controlled by software via cloud technology. The production data will be analyzed and can be used to make comparisons on the food needs for specific cities. Each SFF is estimated to have a maximum production of just over 8 tons of vegetables and slightly over 1.7 tons of fish per year. The floating farms are ideal for densely populated cities near coastal areas, such as Los Angeles, New York, Tokyo, Singapore, and Hong Kong. As the world's population increases, food demand is expected to increase 50% by 2030 and 70% by 2050. First Hyperloop One system coming to the United Arab Emirates. Hyperloop One has signed an agreement with Dubai's Roads and Transport Authority to build the world's first Hyperloop system. Hyperloop One's system will connect Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Its stations, called hyperportals, will be located in the city centers. Passengers will travel in pods, which come in four different configurations, cargo, coach, meeting, and lounge. The pods will pick up passengers at gates and travel autonomously to an underground level. There, they will be loaded inside a transporter capsule. Each transporter capsule will carry four pods. The capsules will be propelled by compressed air using magnetic levitation which eliminates friction inside a tube kept at a near vacuum to eliminate air resistance. They can travel at a speed of up to 1,200 kilometers per hour. The Hyperloop will reduce what's now a two-hour car trip between Abu Dhabi and Dubai to just 12 minutes. Hyperloop One said passengers inside the pods will not feel any discomfort, despite the extreme speeds. The capsules will stop at the hyper portal upon arrival, while the autonomous pods can either stop at the gates or continue beyond the hyper portal to take passengers to their destinations in the city. Hyperloop One said in a press release that the infrastructure does not have to work with the pods alone. It could also work with other self-driving vehicles. 
Singapore tests out delivery by drone. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus is set to trial a drone delivery service, which if successful, could potentially lead to tests of flying passenger taxis. A new drone delivery service to be tested in Singapore next year will see drones being used to deliver parcels. During the trial, drones will navigate a network of delivery and pickup points across the National University of Singapore campus. These drones, also known as octocopters because of their eight blades, will fly automated on routes. These routes will be flown inside interconnecting sky corridors throughout the campus. Upon arrival, the drone will unload the parcel automatically and its recipient will be sent a delivery notification. Airbus says if the drone testing is shown to be safe, it may potentially increase acceptance of passenger flight testing in Singapore. The company has been developing an electric flying vehicle named the City Airbus for several years with the aim of reducing traffic congestion in cities. Airbus believes that people will use vehicles such as these in the future and that they could be operated via transport providers such as Uber. Would you take a ride in a flying taxi? Sound out below and let us know. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. This maglev vehicle also doubles as a living room. A Canadian company has released an innovative idea that expands the concept of self-driving cars into self-driving rooms. Known as Tradica, the self-driving room can be configured to resemble a car interior or an office or other type of room. The Tradica works like a maglev train, with electromagnetism elevating and propelling the cabin. When the Tradica cabin reaches its destination building, ramps are used to elevate it into its slot. The host building will detect the cabin and open the door automatically. The co-development with the Indian Institute of Science is still in its infancy. Whether the concept ever becomes a reality is an open question.